All right, so now we're going to do um, an interesting little exercise. The question we've got is um, display the name, the date of birth, and the current age in years for each member. So I'm going to do a whole bunch of interesting things uh, in this. I'm going to start with doing my select statement as always, and I need to go find the information. So uh, let's say that I looked in my designer here. We'll just do this right quickly. And I dug around until I figured out which table I needed to get the name and age from. It happens to be member details because I knew that. So in SQL, I'm going to go select. And I'm going to use fully qualified names here so that it makes it easy for me. I'm going to select from member details. Hit my dot. So again, I want to get the uh, name. Um, so it said name. It didn't tell me exactly how. So I'm going to I'm going to decide I want it to be the uh, first name. Um, and the last name, so member details dot l name, and um, I'm going to put those together as one name. So I'm going to concat the first name and the last name together, and uh, I'm going to make sure that there's a space between them. So a space and a comma. So that's my nice concat, and I'm going to call it as name. So that's going to give me a nice pretty column called name with the first and last name in it. Um, I also needed the date of birth, so uh, select name, member details dot date of birth, and uh, let's see what's the other thing it wanted me to do. It wanted me to show the current age in years. Oh, that's a tricky one, because there was no age. If I looked in here, I got this date of birth, but there's no age. So how do I figure out age? Well, I'm going to hit enter and tab in. This is because it's part of the same line, but I want to make it pretty and readable, so I don't want it to keep running off the line there. Um, so to get that an age, I have to use a bunch of different functions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the date diff function. So I open the connect, and the date diff, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the current date. That's today, current, current date, open close parentheses so that says tell me take today's date from that I'm gonna subtract member details dot date of birth alright so now it's saying find me the difference between today and the date of birth in the table now it's gonna give it to me in days right so if we look at that right now I'm gonna make this pretty move that over from we're working in the member details table from member details. Assuming I got everything right here, you get this interesting thing with all these weird numbers. All right, so that's, you can see this is all kind of weird. I got these weird numbers and this long date. So how can I clean that up? All right, well, I'm gonna edit in line. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little change here. Divide that by 365. Oops, gotta use the right slash there. Now let's look and see what I've got. All right, hey, that's better. 41 years old, yeah, uh, 50 years old, some change. All right, but that's still got this weird thing here. So obviously I want to do another alias because that would be ugly. So I'm going to just take that and put the whole thing in parentheses so it knows I'm talking about one thing. And as, uh, let's call it current age. Hit go. Look at that, I got this nice pretty three table report that I can turn in with each person's name, all pretty first and last, the date of birth, and then their current age. So there you go, you can learn a whole bunch of stuff all at once in there. We got, you saw how to do the concat, you saw how to do uh, aliases in a couple of different ways, and uh, how to solve a date by using a date diff. And you can see that I didn't have anything on the table. I created this column and it's just in my report. It's non-destructive. It doesn't change any of the data in my table anywhere. Uh, it just creates it for this report right here.